Hello again everyone. In today's video we're going to talk about the different options you have for configuring your echogram chart display. So first off I'm going to just get some simulated data scrolling across here for us. If we go up to our view menu, chart display setup, we're going to see different options we have here for configuring your actual display. Now keep in mind a lot of these are just personal preferences for actually how you're viewing the data and none of these parameters actually change uh, the receive strength of your data or change anything to your actual real data itself. It's just your display options. So the first one you'll see is under the echogram chart display. It's just a status of enabled or disabled. So in this case here, if we click it disabled, chart goes away. Enabled, it returns. The next one is also pretty straightforward. This is your contrast. So you'll see here it defaults to zero. Kind of comes up in the middle of the pack. And depending on the strength of the data that you're good, that you're actually viewing, you can increase your contrast, and you can see the strengths of the returns, or you can decrease it. And once again, as I was saying before, in this case here, all you're doing is just changing how it's being displayed. You're not actually changing the strength of that data. So for the most part, we just usually leave our contrast set to the default at zero. Next one is the display mode. So in this case here, I've got two channels that are coming in, and I have it set to an overlaid mode. So what I can do, if you wanted to separate the two out just to view the different data echograms separately, you can change your display mode to stacked. So you'll see what this does is it just splits your screen in half. It'll show channel one data on the top and your channel two data down below. And you've still got your same grid, your same search window. It's just everything is separated. So keep in mind as well where this is nice for separating the two out to see maybe what the two individual channels are recording you have to also understand that you've now basically split your resolution in half because you're getting twice as much data displayed over the same computer screen. Let's just change that back to overlaid so I have both channels back on top of each other. The next option here is your color mode. So once again default is grayscale so where the harder returns the more the stronger returns you get are dark black and the softer returns are more of a gray. If you wish, you can actually have the option of changing this into a basic color mode. And so you'll see here what it then does is instead of a grayscale mode, it works from a, a scale from blue to red. So red being what used to be your strongest echoes, your strongest returns are in red, and it would slowly change it all down to slightly blue returns. So this is a color mode. An option you have here as well too if you really want to bring out and use the different color mode is to change your background. So instead of your background being white, let's say we change it over to be in black. So in some cases where you get a lot of sub bottom data coming in, you'll see a lot of different color variations at that point. Um, in this case here we're just using simulated data so you might not have as much gradient as you would when you actually get out into the field. But anyways, here's your options here for changing your background from black to white and going from a color mode into a grayscale mode. So next option we have here is the embedded text. So you can see here, you'll actually have as much as the grid is shown on the right hand side, you have the embedded text that will come up onto your data as well too. So you can just toggle that off and it'll just leave your data off the screen from now on, just in case it's starting to get into a way of any kind of detail or anything that you're looking at with your echogram. So you can toggle it off. Your grid mode here, it defaults to fine. So when it's set up, you'll see you'll have solid grid lines at each major increment, and then you have dashed lines at some minor increments. We change that to coarse. We'll lose the, the middle ones, and we're just going to leave the line set up on our major increments. Or you can take the grid mode and turn it off altogether and just show the data. The last option you have here for your echogram chart is your different overlays. So if you actually had a heave connected to your system, you can actually turn on, you'll have a heave indicator line that will be going across the top of your screen. So it will show all the raw data that is coming from the heave. You then have the option of toggling on a heave corrected depth. So it'll be another overlay that will come up. So you'll now have your heave line. You'll have your raw data coming in from the transducer, and you can actually show your heave corrected depth as well too. And we've put this other feature in here so you can kind of offset it so it may not be appearing directly on top of your other raw data from the transducer, and you can offset it so you actually have it separated onto your, uh, onto your screen. Um, other ones you have, your tracking gate limits. If that's toggled on, 
then you'll actually have your upper and lower tracking gate limits come on. You'll see them starting here. And you have a TX blanking. When the TX blanking overlay is on, what it'll do is it'll actually completely blank out and wipe out onto your screen. Uh, if you were working on a window that was, let's say, from 0 to 50 meters and you had a bunch of ringing, you had your blanking set as here to 2.5 meters. If you actually put the TX blanking overlay on, it'll actually wipe all of that data out and it'll just clear it right off the screen completely. So again, just quickly, we have our contrast. We have the ability to change our display mode from stacked to overlaid. We have the ability of changing from grayscale to color, um, changing your background from black to white putting your embedded text onto the screen itself and different grid and overlay options. That's all for now. Thank you.